Hey guys, welcome back. Shubham this side. Now in this video, let us talk about top five programming language to consider in 2021. So the first thing I'm going to consider is I'm not going to follow any pattern or uh, ranking wise. And the second thing is I'm not going to include any programming language according to ease of learning or their salary. The salary number is pretty much dependent on other few factors on your resume, on your previous experience, which college you belong and lot more thing, what type of project you have done. So programming language is just one part of your salary, but the other parts, usually people miss out that. So make sure you don't try to learn any programming language just because of that salary number. There are a lot of other factors with every single student. Now the factor that I'm going to consider is about how easy it is to get a job when you're going to learn any programming language or if the programming language is trending enough to get a job. So if you learn any programming language from basics to advanced, can you get a job easily? That's my only consideration to get into top five. So the list is pretty simple. I'm going to talk about Python, JavaScript, Java or Kotlin, C++ and PHP. That's it. Simple list. It's according to you and your ranking system. But I have few important points to discuss that should change your mind which language you want or which language you just want to skip this in 2021. Now remember, there are chances that I get bias towards Python during this whole discussion, maybe during recommendation or during comparison. I'm working as a Python developer from quite some time. So there are chances that I have a slight edge towards Python. Now let's start this complete discussion of top five programming language. The first thing I want to talk about is the first language, which is PHP. Believe me or not, it's 2021 and we still talk about PHP on a regular basis. The thing is PHP started very early and a big bunch of website, a big bunch of ecosystem is created around PHP. Let me talk about WordPress. Approx 33% of websites are created using WordPress. So there is still demand of PHP somehow just because of this WordPress ecosystem. And you cannot deny the fact. Maybe all the new startup are not utilizing PHP. I will be talking about this in a separate video. But if you talk about new age startup, Maybe if I talk about Zomato in India or any other big company, any other big startup worldwide, most of them started with PHP. If I talk about early 2007, 2010, 2012, most of these startup, most of these big websites started with PHP. But later on, what they started doing is they started creating microservices with different language, maybe Python or JavaScript. So they are trying to move away from PHP. The problem with PHP is it's too old. So a big bunch of website are still utilizing it. Even if they want to shift their entire ecosystem, it is going to take them time. So there are still positions regarding PHP developer and the big WordPress ecosystem. The next thing is PHP is trying to upgrade itself with new versions of its framework, new version of PHP language itself. But the problem you can see most of the startup is trying to move towards Python as well as JavaScript. So you have to ignore the fact that new projects are not starting, but there are big projects, big old websites that are utilizing PHP. So you have an opportunity for jobs. The other thing is don't utilize Facebook for your PHP example, for your PHP reference. Facebook started in 2004 with PHP, but later on, they just converted this whole language in their ecosystem towards hack. So they are using a language called hack, which they started with PHP and they created their own language. And that's how they are utilizing it. They are not utilizing PHP now. The other thing is just jump onto Facebook developer page, career page. You will understand that they are using a big percentage, I guess 25 percentage of Python and then they are using approx maybe 30 percentage of JavaScript. So the percentage of PHP is decreasing day by day. They started with PHP, but they are moving towards other language. 
So just don't take example of Facebook. They're using hack, a modified version of PHP. That's it. Now let's move towards our next language, C++. So if you are someone who wants to get into competitive programming or maybe just want to prepare for service-based companies or mass recruiter, C++ is that one choice that can get you into product-based company as well as service-based company. All the TCS guys, all the T Infosys guys are going to ask you basic question and if you give them C++ as reference, they have a bunch of them. Same follows with competitive programming because of its speed. Then you have recent 2020 update with C++ and you know it's the fastest language. So this is a big, you can see a big scope towards C++ just for job reference. Now I'm not going to compare C++ with Python or JavaScript. It's the difference is pretty big. C++ is used in a very different way how you are going to utilize Python or JavaScript. The language has its own importance. Make sure to consider this in 2021. The next language that I want to discuss is either Java or Kotlin. The problem with Java is it's old. A big section of enterprise world is dependent on Java and it is impossible to remove Java because the big companies, the big dogs are still utilizing Java and one of its framework. So if you are trying to learn Java in 2021, go ahead, there is no issue. The thing is, make sure you learn it from basics to advanced. Make sure you cover a section of data structures and algorithm and make sure you learn a framework. Otherwise, it is going to be hard for you to get into the market. Yes, there is plenty of Java developer position, but you have to consider yourself with a framework and with a good understanding of Java concept, object-oriented programming and lot more thing. The market is competitive and you have to understand its pros and cons. So if you are someone who is trying to enter the developer market in 2021, make sure to learn a framework with Java and also just cover some basics of data structures and algorithm. It is going to give you an edge. Now, the next language that I want to discuss about is JavaScript. 2020, what an year for JavaScript. Not just in terms of courses, not just in terms of free resources, but also in terms of developer projects, also in terms of open source projects. You can see the way JavaScript is growing is incredible. The type of versions that are coming up with different frameworks and how they are working well. You can see how React is dominating the market. So if you are someone who is trying to get into this JavaScript world, make sure you cover the basic, try to build a few projects and make sure to work with React. It is going to help you a lot. And this complete structure, this complete roadmap with JavaScript is going to work really well in future also. So if you are someone who is trying to get into development this year, or maybe who have already have knowledge about maybe Python as backend developer, or maybe Java as backend developer, Try to consider JavaScript this year. It is going to work well in future also. And make sure to discuss about TypeScript. If you are just trying to learn JavaScript, make sure to consider TypeScript as well. Now, the next one that I want to discuss about is Python. 2020, what an year for Python. You can see more and more companies are trying to integrate machine learning as well as artificial intelligence. A big section of startups that are getting funded recently also revolve around these technology. The next thing is the way Django is working towards the improvement as well as new versions. You can see a big section of startup are trying to utilize Django as their backend framework. So it is also working well for web development. And how the automation is working in the field of development, also in the field of scripting. So Python is going to work well in 2021 also. We will also see a new LTS version release for Django, which is 3.2. So make sure if you are learning Python in 2021, also utilize to build certain projects because the ecosystem towards its packages is growing like fire. Now they have over 270,000, that is 270k libraries in Python package system. 
which is pretty big to build any type of project. You have a stable framework like Django, which is updating themselves regularly and how companies and startup are adopting it. And then you have also an edge with the help of ease of learning, ease of uses, the speed of development and everything. So Python is pretty big in 2021. And if you are someone who want to learn Python, make sure to check out my course. I will add a link in description where we talk about from basics to advanced along with 10 different projects, Django framework, data structures and algorithm, everything. We cover every single thing from basics to advanced and you can utilize my code YouTube to get extra 10% off on yearly plans. That's it. That's the five recommendations that I have for top five programming language. Go with either Python, JavaScript, PHP, C++, or maybe Java or Kotlin. If you want to get my recommendation just for top two, it is going to be Python or JavaScript. I don't have any number one right now, but you can choose any language. Just make sure to you learn from basics to advanced, cover data structures and algorithm, build number of projects, and you are good to go with any type of company that you want. At this point of time, these two languages are good enough to get any type of high paying job. You have big feel towards all the latest tech. You have backend framework. You have a lot of thing with Python, automation, testing, scripting, everything. Then you have JavaScript that works well with front end, back end. Entire web is revolving around this. So you can select any one of them and you are going to work well in future. Make sure to like this video. It is going to help me to push this video with the help of YouTube algorithm. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any doubt. If not, just leave a comment. I need to crack this YouTube algorithm and make sure to subscribe if you want to get similar videos. Thank you for following. Don't forget to check out my course. Don't forget to utilize YouTube as your coupon code. And I see you guys in the next one.